My early painting practice was a conceptual project. I determined the parameters of the project and gave myself rules to work within. For example, I numbered the works rather than give them descriptive titles and I only painted decorative motifs. At the start of the project, I copied the motifs from different sources and I rendered the paintings very flatly without evidence of brush strokes or the artist's hand using stencils and very smooth canvases. I considered the entire project an artwork rather than the individual paintings within it. The individual paintings didn't have concepts in themselves but were part of one large conceptual work. In my current practice, I still number my works, but I allow for descriptive titles alongside them. I embrace the mark of the artist and allow for an idea or a concept within each work. In the late 1960s, the conceptual artist Joseph Kossuth described artworks as analytic propositions. He claimed that a work of art is a tautology in that it is a presentation of the artist's intention. That is, he is saying that a particular work of art is art which means is a definition of art. To Kossuth, this rendered aesthetics extraneous to art. He claimed that all art after Duchamp is conceptual in nature because art only exists conceptually. Theorist and curator Lucy Lippard described conceptual art as work in which the idea is paramount and the material form is secondary, lightweight, ephemeral, cheap, unpretentious and or dematerialised. Her definition gave a sense of the opening of art in the conceptual moment to all types of media and practices, and a desire to make art available to all. Contemporary art, or art of the current moment, is frequently viewed as having been determined by the results of the conceptual movement. In this state of openness, to come up with a unique concept for an artwork can be difficult. For me, the concept of a work of art relates to what you're making art about, or why you're making art at all. A work can look conceptual or be conceptual in style if it employs characteristics typical of the conceptual movement. For example, if it uses ephemeral media, if it's minimal or invisible, or if it contains a lot of text. I made this work in 1997. It was a series of faxes I sent to the curator George Hubbard, which he hung on the wall of an artist-run space called Spot for a one-night exhibition. Conceptual artist Lee Lozano gave up being an artist as an artwork with her dropout piece from 1972. In 2015, I re-performed Lozano's 1971 work, Decide to Boycott Women, at Marrickville Garage Gallery in Sydney. For this work, Lozano didn't talk to women at all for the remainder of her life, whereas I maintained this action for only one weekend. Re-performance itself could be seen as a conceptual approach to art making where artists attempt to recreate a performative work from a previous time by another artist. Even if a work is an object or is material-based, all artworks today tend to be read as containing or referring to concepts due to the fact that contemporary art was formed as the outcome of the conceptual movement. As a result of opening the boundaries of my work in my current project, I now allow personal themes or references to myself as the artist in my works. I sometimes use dreams as a starting point for making artworks. This work, number 67, Cape for My Guru, was made after my yoga teacher came to me in a dream and thanked me for the cape I made him. This work, number 62, Josie 2, is an abstract portrait of my grandmother Josie. I made this work, number 60, Thesis 2, when I was writing my PhD thesis. The weaving is a self-portrait of me writing my thesis, trying to convey the meaninglessness that words tend to take on during the writing process. Dreams and personal situations can be useful as a concept. Although they're quite basic, simple ideas are often quite generative. I've kept an archive of videos and photographs of myself making art over the years. To me, it's interesting to think of artists' practices as performative, where the very act of being an artist and making work could be considered itself as an artwork. With this in mind, I've developed a concept to make a video of myself making a recent weaving, number 97, Bauhaus Weaving 3. Every minute I took a photo of myself in the studio using surveillance software on my iPad while I was making this weaving. I plan to edit the shots together to form a time-lapse video of this activity. The time-lapse footage will appear on one side of the screen or as one channel of the video. I also filmed one day of my activity while I made this work. I strapped a GoPro to my chest, 
to get real-time footage of my hands working on the weaving or doing other tasks around the studio. This footage will appear on the other side of the screen or channel. I'm hoping this work will reference the idea of art practice as performative, or of practice as an artwork in itself. This concept developed from my interest in reality TV, as well as from theorisations of art as a depiction of reality through the modern era, and the break with that development in the current moment. To me, the most interesting concepts for art are those that refer to or ask questions about art itself.